GIS Information for Management of the Nyeman and Pregoya River Basins Rivers flow through administrative and political borders, so the only way to protect and manage transboundary rivers is to establish close international cooperation between countries that share transboundary river basins. Cross-border cooperation is essential towards implementing the WFD principle of management at river basin scale, especially because most EU and non-EU countries contain transboundary river basins. A key aim of the project, GIS mapping of water bodies in Lithuania, Poland, Belarus, and Kaliningrad Oblast for the management of transboundary Nyeman and Pregoya river basins, was to utilize good practices of international cooperation. The team of international experts from GWP Lithuania, GWP Poland, Central Research Institute for Complex Use of Water Resources, Belarus, and the Baltic Institute for Ecology of Hydrosphere, Kaliningrad, have compiled joint GIS maps on hydrology, human pressures, chemical and, where possible, ecological status of surface and groundwater bodies, and also monitoring networks. GIS maps are shared amongst the project participants and will also be used for the second round of the Nyeman and Pregoya River Basin District Management Plans and Programs of Measures being prepared by Lithuania and Poland under the EU Water Framework Directive. The Nyeman is the 14th longest river in Europe and the fourth longest in the Baltic Sea Basin. The total length of the Nyeman is 914 kilometers. Over its entire length, 436 kilometers flow in Belarus and 359 kilometers in Lithuania. A 116 kilometer stretch forms the border between Lithuania and Russia's Kaliningrad Oblast. The Pregoya River starts as a confluence of the Innsbruck and the Angrapa rivers and drains into the Baltic Sea through the Vistula Lagoon. The total length of the Pregoya proper is 123 kilometers and 292 kilometers, including the Angrapa. The total area of the Nyeman Basin is 98,200 square kilometers, of which 34,610 square kilometers are within Belarus. The Lithuanian portion of the basin is 46,695 square kilometers. The Pregoya Basin has an area of 15,500 square kilometers. The average flow is 90 cubic meters per second. The Nyeman has about 105 larger tributaries, the largest being the rivers Neris, 510 kilometers, the Shjara, 325 kilometers, and Sheshupe, 298 kilometers. Fifteen of the Nyeman's tributaries are longer than 100 kilometers. The main tributaries of the Pregoya rivers are the Pisa, Lava, Innsbruck, and Angrapa, which is 172 kilometers in length. The Nyeman Basin in Lithuania drains more than 20,000 rivers and rivulets and covers 72% of Lithuania's territory. Pollution from industrial, municipal, and agricultural sources, as well as groundwater abstraction for drinking water supply in urban and rural areas, deteriorate the quality and quantity of water resources. There are 1,479 wastewater discharges, called point pollution sources, in the Nyeman and Pregoya river basins. 1,265 of these point sources are in Lithuania, 129 are in Poland, 73 are in Belarus, and 12 are in Kaliningrad Oblast. Together, these point sources release more than 320 million cubic meters per year of treated and untreated wastewater into the Nyeman and Pregoya river basins. There are 115 points of wastewater discharge that release polluted water directly into the Nyeman River. In the Nyeman River proper, the total load of nitrogen compounds from point sources amounts to 3,800 tons per year. The total load of phosphorus is 670 tons per year. A large volume of river flow can dilute pollutants quite effectively, but this capacity is greatly diminished when human loads become excessive. Pollution and hydropower impact have heavily modified the Nyeman from the Lithuanian city of Kaunas to the river's mouth. It is forbidden to swim in or use the river for recreation along this stretch. 
While it is easy to pollute water, treating polluted water is a very long and expensive process. At a wastewater treatment plant, water first passes through mechanical filters. The water then flows into aeration tanks where oxygen is added. From the aeration tanks, water moves to sedimentation ponds where sludge settles and is then removed. Only after these treatment measures are taken can the water be safely reintroduced to the rivers. In addition to wastewater discharge, agricultural activity, or diffuse pollution, dumps nitrogen, phosphorus, and organic compounds into rivers. The amount of applied mineral nitrogen from diffuse sources in the Neyman and Pregoya river basins varies from 40 to 200 kilograms per hectare. The amount of applied mineral phosphorus in agricultural fields varies from 10 to 60 kilograms per hectare. The Nyeman River brings large amounts of polluted water into the Caronian Lagoon, which in turn becomes heavily polluted. There are 145 hydropower plants in the Nyeman River Basin, which interrupts river continuity. The Kaunas Hydroelectric Power Plant was built in 1959. The resulting Kaunas Reservoir is the largest such lake in Lithuania, it occupies 63.5 square kilometers. Fish passes have been built at just 25 power plants. Climate change also impacts river flow. Floods and droughts are occurring more and more often. It is predicted that mean annual surface water runoff in the Nyeman River Basin for the period of 2020 to 2050 will change from minus 10% to plus 20%, as compared with the period of 1970 to 2000. Spring flood runoffs for the same period will decrease by 20 to 30 percent in the major part of the basin. And minimal winter runoffs will increase by 10 to 40 percent. In 2005, severe flooding of the Merkis River in Lithuania caused huge economic losses for local inhabitants. Drought is a new natural phenomenon and also a new challenge in our region, which is typically known for its surplus humidity. Water monitoring is the main tool used in any comprehensive assessment of the status of water bodies and is essential for sound water management. The cost of monitoring is much lower than costs resulting from poor decisions. There are 712 surface monitoring stations in the Nyeman and Pregoya river basins. The groundwater monitoring network consists of 342 observation wells. The main instrument for the management of transboundary waters is the preparation of joint river basin management plans and accompanying programs of measures. The planning process starts with characterization of the river basin district, monitoring and the assessment of ecological status, setting clear objectives, and developing a program of measures that includes economic analysis and an assessment of the amount of investment needed for implementation. The main goal of transboundary water management is to achieve good ecological status of all water bodies. This means that all rivers and lakes are swimmable, that groundwater is fresh and drinkable, and that all water bodies contain an abundance of natural organisms. Only by joining forces can we save our transboundary rivers, lagoons, and the Baltic Sea for future generations. Thanks to the Global Water Partnership for Financial Support, the Stockholm International Water Institute for leading the main project, and the project participants for their GIS contribution. Thank you for watching.